welcome to this week's Ask Charlie. You can probably hear some funny background noises. Size, size here. Big as here. She doesn't really, she's like, Mummy, stop filming. It's embarrassing. Um, but we have got Alec Miles here. And Alec was recommended to Simon actually um, when we were up at Coomelands. And he has come to do loading, loading with Santana. And actually, he's, he's, oh, there's Si. There's Alec with Santana in the trailer. He has got a rope head collar and it's all about the groundwork with her and it's about her respecting us and um, her not running through us and and her res basically respecting us. So um, yeah, this is, this is exciting. It's very exciting. You guys have been with me on this kind of journey of nightmare loading Santana and I feel like we are conquering it and I've had so many people reach out and get in touch and offer really great advice um, and I am so 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 grateful um, but really it was Simon chatting to this lady um, last weekend and, and Alec is relatively local and he's uh, once he's been today I can take her to him as much as I possibly want Coco can ride in his school and he will help us so I feel that it's not just this one-off. We're going to be supported going forward, um, which is really, really helpful. So, you know, she's really, we're doing well. I think she's loaded now 10 times, which is really exciting. Um, I'm really positive. I haven't filmed since, since the beginning as soon as Alec arrived, because, you know, it's, it's difficult. Like, can I just get my camera out and film you in the process? But I will talk you through. I will talk you through it more, and I will share with you some some snippets. Like as soon as she pulls back, Alex putting some pressure on, and it's putting pressure on behind her ears. And so she's just learning to respect. And when she tries to charge forward and run through, he's like, "No, just stand and wait." Like now, she was just trying to rush off the trailer there and Alec was like no 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 you just wait and then he then he releases and then he pats her and it's very exciting Here's the man himself, Alec. One travelled horse. One travelled horse. Yeah. So we have worked out that she does not like travelling with the centre partition, no. does she? So Certainly she not. was stamping around all over the place. We literally just, in fact, just turning out of the drive. Was it Immediately better, yeah. Um, so we've taken the centre partition out again and Traveller. she can travel at an angle in there, can't she? Yep. She's got a little bit sweaty. But we have been for a bit of a journey. And so, Alex, basically you're teaching her using that head collar. It puts a bit of pressure on the pole, doesn't it? On the pole it? on the side, yeah. And it's teaching her respect. Yeah. And so when she pulls back... Pulls back, yeah, to keep it a bit of pressure. You just keep too much, a bit of pressure. Just make a step forwards and, and release, then you release. It. It's not about the going in, it's about the reaction. And it's, the it's really about us learning how to handle her, isn't it? Yeah. And her respecting us, yeah. isn't it? And so it's not just a one-off thing. I think you need to do it sort of a regular thing that you can even lean out Alec, to the field. Alec, you're talking here. <laughs> leaning out to the field or like even general yard use, you can actually then 
practice the head collar to make a re you know, reaction to what you're doing with the, the trailer mm. as well. Yeah, and it's also teaching her to come off because it's really important when she comes off the trailer that she's not rushing, rushing off. Rushing through, yeah. So the anxiety you just... of coming off, and that's where you've got to be correct with the head collar. Yeah. Just a reminder, but that's like doing ground work before you get to that point. Yeah. Yeah. So one, the loading was like done by the head collar going on and the coming off is more difficult in some ways because she'd rush through from a safety point of view where you come yeah. off the trailer. Yeah. But um but it's a centre partition she couldn't cope with and it's a, it has to she has to have the whole room so she can travel at an angle to feel more confident, more yeah. balanced. And she was really telling us that so early on in the trailer, yeah. you know, just, just we could tell, couldn't yeah, we? She was really unhappy. So yeah. huge progress has been made. Yeah, and get out there and do some Thank you. Some we can go and go and have fun. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Alex. Alex. Very good. I'm just unhitching and Alec has left. Such a great guy. Just really kind of no nonsense, down to earth, very sensible, very practical. And I'm feeling so much more confident. And also the way that she travels without the centre partition is so much better for her. She's so much happier and, and calmer. And it's just about practice and it's about us <laughs> doing the right thing and learning how how you know the, the the technique it's the groundwork and that is so important so i'm feeling really positive coco's feeling really positive size feeling really positive and he said she is going to test you you are going to have problems so we're going to take her down um to him in these holidays coco breaks up in about 10 days time so i shall take her down there and we shall have a few more sessions with him and um if he's up in this neck of the woods he's going to pop in as well so and i he was like you know you can just send me a video and i will talk you through what what you've done wrong or what's gone wrong so um really good but that head collar is brilliant and it's just a simple rope head collar but the knots put pressure on here and then on her pole and she doesn't like it so it's like no 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 um so excellent really good we've had a lovely day kind of just been pottering around here we had a friend that came for lunch which was really lovely we had roast pork and um and i made like a fruit crumble and custard really delicious it's just been a very very nice kind of gentle sunday and ending on a really positive note with santana hopefully we can get out to coco's lesson on thursday so si and i need to do some practice but so si was like please let me have a go i love i just, just just said to him darling thank you i just love the fact that he's likes to be involved he likes to know what's going on it's not like he's sitting inside watching tv or reading the paper which is probably quite like to be doing but he's here and he's engaged and he's interested in learning which i love really supportive so that was good i am going to unhitch sort colour out and go inside and wash up <laughs> that's the plan and then the children are going to say mummy we're hungry they don't even say what's for supper on sunday night they know we basically have soup and cheese on toast that is what's for supper actually simon um was reading the papers this morning and he came up to help me in the yard and he said i've just been re reading about upf ultra processed food and i was like yes <laughs> um mosley mike mosley david mosley matt mosley can't remember his name mosley is his surname you're probably screaming dr mosley whatever his first name is, um, has written an article in the Daily Mail, I believe, the Sunday Mail, Mail on Sunday, even, um, which I was reading this morning. And um, I'm really pleased he has read that because I've been banging on about ultra-processed food for a while, um, having listened to the book. So I hasn't listened to the book yet, but um, he is now looking at labels and he's now understanding what I've been banging on about. And I think actually sometimes it helps, like, me banging on he's like oh god what fad is she on now when he saw it written in print oh Coco's doing my horse for me when he saw it written in print he was like oh yes <laughs> and he'd listen to him more than he'd listen to me but at least now he gets what I'd be banging on about um so anyway I'm completely rambling now I'm gonna go and help my daughter and I will chat to you all tomorrow it's ten past six and it's still light, which is seriously exciting. So I thought I'd take the dogs for a walk. Haven't, um, I like to have a proper walk each day. And so I took them for a walk earlier while I was cooking and I sort of missed my walk, missed my steps. 
So I thought, you know what, it's still light. Before I tackle the washing up, I've got one more load of school washing to do. And, um, you know, all of that Sunday evening jazz. I thought I'd just take the dogs for a walk. It's dear old Tess. Dear old Tess, she's such a good girl. So I thought we'd get out and have a, have a lovely walk. The puppies are doing so well. They're really so much bigger and so much more grown up. They're almost seven weeks. It's amazing how they suddenly change. Girls, come on. They suddenly change and they are no longer sleeping babies that you can ignore. They're actually pretty busy and pretty full on. And actually yesterday and today, we've managed to get them outside a bit, which has been really lovely. And um, actually they've been really good uh, on the house training front. So that is positive. Literally, as soon as they wake up from sleep, straight outside and then lots of praise. Well done, like a crazy woman. Well done, good girl, good boy, well done. And then, you know, slowly, slowly, it's a bit like, you know, I don't know, potty training a child. Um, slowly, slowly, they get the gist. So hopefully when they go off to their new homes, they'll be a little bit, you know, they'll have a clue of, um, of, of what to do. Anyway, I am going to enjoy my walk with these girls and, um, and really will chat to you tomorrow now. I feel like it's driving Miss Santana. We've just been out in the trailer for a drive. Sai so has, um, actually has yoga this morning. He started yoga, but um, don't say I said anything. I'd be furious, I've told you. Um, he has yoga this morning and I said, well, because you're not in a hurry to go to the office, shall we load Santana and take her for a drive? And he said, yes, why not? She went in first time. I didn't film it because uh, we both needed our hands free. But um, she loaded first time and we just went a little bit further than we went yesterday. She has got a little bit sweaty, not as bad as yesterday. So I'm going to wash her off, give her a feed and turn her out. But wow, such progress. I'm feeling much more confident. She unloaded from the trailer beautifully. She waited, she didn't rush. She was as good as gold. So absolutely thrilled. Right, let's wash her off. It's really frustrating every time I try and film it just it goes wrong but anyway I'm just standing here watching them playing in the grass it's so lovely so this is like the third day of the great outdoors and we have created a little pen area there for them um, it's not that warm like it's fine for them to be out for like five minutes or so but I can't leave them out there for very long it's so sweet I've just had my members club monthly Zoom. Oh my goodness, I love the members club. The conversations that we have are just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, all sorts we cover today. And um, it's a really kind of happy 45 minutes um, chatting and just sort of really open, open conversations that we don't necessarily um, have with friends. You know, some quite hard topics. We covered all sorts today. Um, but really, really good conversation um, and and I love it. I now need to go to the chemist to see if I can get a neoprene thumb support for Gus. I've ordered two online and they're not going to be here in time. He's going on a school ski trip and it's going to be like three and a half weeks since his accident and his thumb, like he can move it. He doesn't have to wear the splint the whole time. They're not putting him in a plaster. The fracture clinic were like quite vague, <laughs> not very helpful. Um, they were like, you know, if he feels like he can do it, then he can do it. So I want him to go with a thumb support. So that is my mission to go and do now. But I said to myself yesterday, I'm going to have a positive week. It's going to be a good week. And I think if you have that mindset, it does make things better. Like, yep, it's going to be a good week. Today has started off really well, taking Miss Santana for a drive, really positive, and then a lovely Zoom. I've done a few other bits and pieces, and just seeing these gorgeous little bundles hopping around the lawn. 
goodness. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. I'm going to try and capture what I can. Gorgeous. This one hasn't quite worked out what to do with the wall. So he's having a little a little moment. And granny, granny has just come to assess the situation. He hasn't worked out. He has to come round. <laughs> Look at this one bounding over. There's mum coming to sort them out. So sweet. Just gorgeous. I don't want it to fall off the wall. It's not a big drop, but uh, yes. Hopefully they will just follow her down. Look at that. So sweet. Gorgeous little babies. And on another note, my spring planting. Look at that. Let's just zoom in. Take a moment to appreciate the spring flowers. They're making me feel very happy indeed. It really is a madhouse. Billy is out of hibernation. Penny, Penny, no. Don't push him along, Penny pushes him from his bottom. You mustn't do that. And the puppies are all playing over there. So it really is like my family and other animals. Completely, completely crazy. There's Lola. Here are the other two. And Tess is asleep in the laundry room. She's hiding from the madness. Very, very sensible. Good morning. We are at Mole country stores. Florence is on my lap. She's got her dog seat here, which is really handy. Um, but she was getting to, <laughs> I started to talk to you guys. So I popped her on my lap. I've popped her lead on and we are going to go into more country store. I've got the puppies all with me. They came on the school run this morning. This is all about puppy education this week. Um, they are being vaccinated and microchipped on Friday. So before they go off to their new homes, I want them out and about in the car a lot. So it's not a shock to the system. And I'm just educating them. We are working on house training. We are working on all of these things. You can't see them. I don't want to disturb them because finally asleep but it was quite a lively journey to school i've had a really early start i think i started at 5 45 um to get puppies done and horses done before school run was uh yeah it was a mission this morning i lift share with a friend who lives nearby and it was my turn this morning she did yesterday morning and um I thought it'd be really fun to take the puppies on the school run for the children. So uh, that is what we did, isn't it, Florence? And then we stopped here to get some supplies. Um, one of the children, uh, one of my children is feeling brilliant. They've gone into school today, but I did pick them up early yesterday, feeling full of a cold. Um, so hopefully they're okay. I think there's, I think we sort of need the end of term now. I don't know, everyone's feeling a little, a little weary and run down. Um, Simon and I are going to a funeral today. We found out, we heard that his friend died actually the morning of dad's funeral. So um, we have his service today, which, um, which will be sad, but um, yeah, yeah. Lots of funerals at the moment, I think. Um, it's that time of year, isn't it? I, I, yeah. Anyway, we are going to go in to Mole and get our supplies. What are you doing climbing around? So when I'm driving, I, you can't really see, and I don't think I can move you down, I can move you down. Um, I can clip her on here, so she can't be leaping around, but obviously I've unclipped her to chat to you and I've put her lead on because if I don't take her in with me, she's gonna go completely and utterly nuts, aren't you? Hello, Florence? Yes, your babies are all asleep. They're all asleep in there, and we're going to leave them asleep. We are, because they can be very noisy when all three are making a racket at once. Wow, you need earplugs. You do. Right, let's go. Everybody's quiet for a moment, so I thought I'd come and chat to you. I think I last left you in the car park at Mole Valley, and then I bumped into a friend and I was chatting to her for about 30 minutes, and then I was rushing uh, for pretty much the rest of the day. I hate it how like that just has a knock-on effect, but it was really, really <laughs> lovely to see her chat. Oh, I said while well, everyone's being quiet, Lola was making vomiting sounds behind me. What's going on? 
actually spent the morning in the office with Simon and then we met him for lunch. So Gus has broken up today and um, we met Simon for lunch and then I brought Lola home so that the puppies are asleep and the other dogs are all being quiet so that I can't chat to you. Um, but this morning I, um, well in fact, sort of fairly pointless, uh, Gus breaks up at 11 o'clock which is a really frustrating time. You can't really get very much done in the morning before it's time to pick them up. But anyway, he has broken up for the Easter holidays and um, he's quiet at the moment. No, Lola, go and lie down. Um, but I just thought I'd share with you my, my outfit. This has got a little bit crumpled because it has, but this is a blouse I bought from John Lewis's and I just, it's just really easy really easy to throw on and I'm wearing boot cut jeans today which is quite unusual for me but the reason is <laughs> these trainers and you can't really see it I'm too far away and I'm not going to take them off but new trainers very very excited by those adidas I think it's the first pair of adidas trainers I have ever had and I was totally influenced by a friend of mine who's really young really trendy and she are you looking for batteries no Batteries are here, darling. No, I don't need batteries. You don't need batteries. What are you doing in the cupboard under the stairs, though? Oh, <laughs> he's found where his Xbox has been hidden. Yes, darling, you can play on that. Um, Simon's forever hiding his Xbox from him. Yep. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Juggling tech, managing tech. I have done a video on that before. I'll link it here. So they have restricted time, it gets taken away and we're, uh, we're, we try to be pretty strict. It's not easy, it's not easy. And I did say to him when I picked him up, don't you think that you're gonna be spending the whole Easter holidays gaming? Cause that ain't gonna happen, darling. Um, but he, he loves playing with his friends. And Arch breaks up in a couple of days and then Coco breaks up next week. I have just had to withdraw her from a competition on Saturday. So we seem to have cracked the loading thing, which is really exciting. Santana is doing so well loading. I'd have got a and b guest staying. Who came for a drive with me yesterday with Santana. Such a lovely guest staying. And we were chatting and I was like, I'm just about to take the horse for a drive. And she ended up coming too, which was very lovely and great to have the company. Um, I'm not going to take her for a drive today. Di has taken her for a walk. She had the physio last week and she um, is just sore through her neck and shoulders. And I think if we were to jump her and she were to put in a stop, both Coco and her would lose confidence and it's not worth it. And it's so hard trying to explain that because Coco's missed out on so much because we haven't been able to load her and go anywhere. Finally, we can load her and go places and I've had to withdraw her because I just don't want... I spoke to the physio yesterday and she said... Charlie, she's looking sore and I can't, can't, you know, there needs to be time between treatments and she needs, you know, to strengthen up. She's a youngster. So Di took her out in hand um, and they, they, they both came back looking quite tired. They were doing hill work in hand with Di leading her. Um, because if she's sore, then the last thing she wants is a saddle and a rider on her. So Di is just getting her to stretch and use her muscles. Um, this morning, she's going to do the same thing with her on Friday, then she'll have Saturday off, then she'll have the physio on Sunday, and then hopefully, you know, hopefully soon, Coco can be doing stuff. And I explained to her, I said, sometimes it feels like you've made a huge steps forward, but also then you have to take a few steps back. And it's when you get a young horse, it's, it doesn't all click into place. It, it takes time and that's fine. Patience, it will be worth it in the end. So that's, that's what we're doing on that front. And I've just got an afternoon here sorting out stuff. In fact, I'm actually prevaricating because I need to sit down at my laptop and type up five recipes, which I hate doing. I absolutely hate typing. Uh, I hate computers. I'm too dyslexic. And what should take me like, I don't know, a normal person, an hour takes like four hours and I hate it. It doesn't take four hours. I'm totally exaggerating. But it takes a while and I need to um, I need to sit down and do that. So I've got um, 
I've got my to-do list which I'm working through. I've got a few things to tick off uh, this afternoon. So I'm going to do that and just crack on. But um, yeah, I think when the children are breaking out, it's like the end of term. <laughs> I'm kind of busy trying to get my ducks in a row before the school holidays. So it's not such an exciting vlog this week. I'm sorry, but I will share other snippets. And actually, I think next week's going to be a bit more exciting because we have a trip to London and yes. So anyway, I am going to stop stop chatting and start on my to-do list for this afternoon. So Gus and I, it's so fair chatting to a friend of ours, Gus and I popped to Bellman's because why not? The first day of your Easter holidays, what do you want to do? Come and look at antiques with your mother, but they have got their sale actually next week. And I was chatting to Will yesterday about a few other things and he said, oh, come and preview. I needed to drop some things off here anyway for valuation. So, um, thought I would bring you along and we could have a little look around. Gosh, there's some beautiful mirrors to have a house the size, um, to have those just stunning. Anyway, let's have a look around. so exciting coming here there's always so much to look at and the artwork is phenomenal let me look at that behind me I think what has caught my eye um, not that we need any more pictures in our home this is just magnificent I just I just absolutely love that I think it's gorgeous now we are gonna whiz home we've got lots to do today so I'm gonna whiz back but um, I thought I just had to share a few little snippets of Bellman's with you all. Oh my goodness, I'm out for a walk with two teenagers. Wow, it's quite different to when they were little coming and doing this walk. I'm walking ahead and if I show them to you, they'll be furious with me. So we're going to keep looking this way. But the, the, actually they've stopped arguing, which is a relief. They're now playing music and having a dance off with one another. Anyway, the joys of the Easter holiday. The very, very, very happy doggies. Tess started coming with us and then she turned around and said, nah, I'm going home, mum. So she took herself back to the laundry room. She loves the laundry room. She's hiding from the puppies, which are getting quite boisterous. One of them was really, really crazy brave and tried to chew on her tail. Oh, she didn't like that. She told him in no uncertain terms, leave me alone. I'm granny and I do not want to be played with by you. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the walk with my teenage, with my teenagers and these girls. I think these are easier than those two over there. I'm just back from my walk with the children. Oh, and this little mama has come up. Oh, darling, you had a good walk, didn't you? You did, you did. You just have to be everywhere with me, don't you? You do, you do, I know. Um, and actually, you're a bit dirty, so let's go down. There we are. Lovely, covered in dog. Um, yes, oh, those kids, they started off like arguing and squabbling and trying to push one another over. And then actually, they had great fun. Um, it's quite nice just to get them out having a walk and I'm trying to make hay when the sun shines because tomorrow it's going to be raining. So I was like, come on kids, let's go. We're taking the dogs for a walk. We're going, we don't want to come. I was like, we are. It's not an option. I'm going to confiscate your phones. <laughs> Bit of bribery. Doesn't hurt anyone. I was having a conversation with Coco. Um, I completely changed the subject. And I was having a conversation with Coco about soap. So she was, she was like, mommy, can, it, can I have this shower gel? And I said, no, hang on, someone's calling me. I'm gonna come back in a moment. I'm back with you. Um, I was talking to Coco about 
So I can't remember where I was. So I'm going to start again. Coco said, Mommy, can I have this shower gel? And I was like, no, actually you can't. You can have a bar of soap, darling. Because <laughs> um, I've always been a soap user. I'm not a shower gel girl. And yes, Sometimes it can be convenient when you're traveling, but I just love a bar of soap. I always have done. I had the most beautiful little pale blue soap box with actually Beatrix Potter on the front. Like, a, I think it had Peter Rabbit. And I used to take a bar of soap everywhere with me when I went traveling. And I just love a bar of soap. And so I said to Coco, no, darling, you can have a bar of soap. You're not having a shower gel. <laughs> and Lotsie Dan sent me a bar of soap. This is to celebrate them becoming certified B Corp um, as a business. I don't know. Mm, you can't see that. That's so annoying. But it's got a brilliant B there. There. You can see it there. On the soap. And I just, I think L'Occitane and their soap are just iconic. They do the best, best soaps. So anyway, um, I thought I'd chat to you about soap for a moment because I just love a proper bar of soap and actually this um this came with it i just love it when you have a soap dish that drains because it's so annoying when you have soap that then sits in in like when it's wet and then it starts going mushy underneath whereas on a soap dish like this that doesn't happen which is very clever and i think it looks stylish as well i need to do a food shop and i've got a few other bits and pieces to talk to you about downstairs that um yeah i've got something exciting to share with you with easter in mind and a little bit of vintage pre-loved stuff so um let's go downstairs so this has arrived in the post which has been sent to me by leapfrog these great snooze and immune and they said charlie can we send you some of these I was like yes please i haven't tried them yet they've literally just arrived these are for your immune system supercharge your immunity so they've got lactoferrin zinc and vitamin c and they are a chewable tablet and I'm actually intrigued because I'm not really loving the gummies, the vitamins that you get. So I'm intrigued to see what these are. But every day for your immune system works to defend you. But sometimes it needs a little bit of help. And actually, Simon had the cough that I had over New Year. And he's been really battling to um, to shake it off. And so I'm actually going to get him on these pretty quickly. And the children have had various things um Coco's actually come she came home from school early one day earlier this week and she is home to ride and I actually thought do you know what she can just have a chilled rest of the day here and do her homework here so I'm gonna get them on this and then snooze I'm actually going to try this and this has come perfect time when um when um um um, um Stephanie Stephanie got in touch and said these really help with your sleep when you wake up at like two three o'clock and you can't go back to sleep and your mind is whirring I'm like yep I know that one so I am gonna let you know whether these do the job um and help because I haven't been I've been going to sleep easy peasy lemon squeezy don't have a problem doing that staying asleep is really annoying so feeling a little frazzled yeah Take a chill pill or two. I'm going to keep you posted on these. The packaging is really clever and the wording. I love the branding. Very, very, very clever. So I will keep you posted. I am going to do, as I told you, I was going to keep you posted about the um, Bauer Collective products. And I haven't given you a proper update because I'm actually saving up to saving up but like I'm after Easter I am going to do a whole spring cleaning malarkey their products are amazing and I'm absolutely loving them but um I haven't given you an update that's a little mini update but I want to do like a whole a whole cleaning and talk you through because I don't feel like we've done cleaning and do that as a blog post rather than in a vlog so a bit of spring cleaning coming for you and now the weather's better, I'm like in spring cleaning mode. When you're wearing like 
polo necks and it's gloomy and it's wet and you open the door and it's just miserable out there. I just not really inspired to get spring cleaning, whereas now we've got some sun and a little bit of warmth. They've actually got the front door open as we're speaking. Um, I am in spring cleaning mode, so after Easter, that will come with you with a bit of an update. But I am just, I'm being really mindful about packaging, the environment, all of that jazz. And um, these are very exciting, so I will keep you posted and we need to get Simon feeling back. Um, I actually am trying to convince him. Well, I have convinced him. He just needs to make the appointment to go and see Adrian, the acupuncturist, because I'm hoping that he's going to kind of kickstart him um, into feeling better. Because quick boob update, which I haven't given you for ages, that lump that I had on this one unexpectedly um, di has disappeared. So that is fine. And this one, after having acupuncture, it dispersed the hematoma, the bruising all came out, it's healed and it's absolutely fine. So that is a positive update. And literally, Adrian just was like, yep, I can deal with that. I can disperse this hematoma, no problem. One session and it worked. He did it and um, I haven't looked at that. So that is a positive little update, which I forgot uh, to give you. I've got something exciting to share with you. So I saw at Cheltenham Justine and Justine runs um, vintagepieces.co.uk. Justine has been on my podcast a couple of times and actually she's a friend. I met her via Instagram and she's become a friend and she has such beautiful taste and such beautiful things. And she said, Charlie, can we do something together? I was like, yeah, of course we can do something together. So she's given me a discount code of Charlie10 off everything that, that she does on her website. And that's, it doesn't have a time frame on it. It's, it's an ongoing, but she has got lovely, lovely things for Easter. So if you wanted to order something special for Easter, you need to order before Tuesday the 26th to get it in time because it's Good Friday soon. Easter is coming around really, really quickly. Now I spotted this, I think it was in January on Justine's website look how beautiful that is and I think it just looks stunning with these roses in. Claire my friend came over at the weekend and she bought me these roses and I think it just looks so pretty in here and no I didn't need another vase but I wanted something as beautiful as that I mean look how pretty it is and I just think actually on the mantelpiece on the sideboard on the centre of the table it's a really really versatile piece and I'm going to leave it here. Um, Justine just has beautiful taste and she'll also source things for you. So I said to her, Justine, I really, really, really need a new dinner service and can you find something for me? And this is what I love. Justine saw it, told me about it. I bought it, got it delivered. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thanks to Justine. It's got such beautiful, beautiful taste. I don't know if you, I don't know if it's down here. My white rabbit jug I bought from Justine as well. And we always say white rabbits to each other on the first of every month. And so not on the first of every month, but often I will make a floral display in my white rabbit jug. And that was something I found from Justine. I've bought numerous, numerous bits and pieces from her over the years and she just has great taste. So it's lovely of her to, to give us a discount code, Charlie10, and I'll leave a link to her website um, on the screen here and down below in the details. So if you're looking for anything um, totally unique, Justine will find things for you, but also she's got beautiful pieces on her website. So do take a look. And I can't believe that Easter's coming around quite so quickly. Like next, next week, when we have next week's vlog, it's gonna be Good Friday. Um, it just seems crazy. This year is already whizzing past. Di said to me yesterday, she said, before we know it, Charlie, it's going to be Christmas again. I was like, Di, do not say that, please. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to leave this week's vlog here because I need to go and do things with the children and um, whiz to the supermarket and do all of that jazz, go to the post office. But thank you so much for tuning in for watching a bit of all sorts this week for you. Um, have a lovely, lovely weekend. If you're new around here, please hit subscribe. I would love, um, I'd love it if you did that. And I will see you 
next week with a new vlog on Tuesday and a vlog on Friday. And in the meantime, lots and lots of love. This is possibly the most beautiful sight. Oh, one of them's moving. Lola has got, well, had two puppies asleep with her. We disturbed them, Papa. We're just having our supper. That's Granny there. It's the remains of our chicken Caesar salad. But that was just too gorgeous for words.